Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to a new unboxing. Um, as you know, we are doing the Kaiser Yorkie. Um, as, as soon as I saw this knife, I was super pumped about it. Um, and then I heard, you know, rumblings of, uh, you know, a bunch of other people, some channels, you know, wanting to get their hands on it as well. And I knew it would be popular. Um, I did kind of wait before I ordered it on Blade HQ and just waited a couple days too late and it ended up getting sold out. So I had to kind of like scour around and find it somewhere else online. And the only other place that I could find it was uh, Carmel Cutlery. So shout out to you guys. Um, they shipped it out pretty quick. So yeah, here it is. The Kaiser Yorkie. Just do a quick unboxing and get a first impressions done on it so the packaging right off the bat is is pretty nice um, knife comes in the little pouch and you just get kind of a sleeve with what is this okay this is my personally my first Kaiser knife so just got all the information in there and then uh, microfiber cloth. Always nice to have a couple extra of these laying around. All right. And then the actual knife in the pouch. And then just comes in the little plastic bag here. So as you guys can already see, this is the blue anno. Um, I already did kind of briefly clean it up a little bit. Um, they kind of got some oil on it to protect it during, you know, shipping and whatnot. So uh, I just thought I'd do a quick cleanup of it before getting it on camera so it's not all dirty and I'm wasting my time. But so, yeah, there there it is. Pretty nice blue anno on it. It's not like super dull. You definitely can notice it. Um, flipper works super well. It's smaller, so it's definitely on the smaller side. Uh, blade is 2.57 inches, but you know, kind of, I'm following the trend of liking smaller knives nowadays. So this was right up my alley. Um, they've got the blue anno like this. I know they've got just a plain titanium and then they've got one with like a hole milled out. Um, pretty sweet. It's got the over travel stop and steel insert. And then you got Ray Laconico, guy who designed the knife for Kaiser. I really like how they how he puts his name on the on the spine of the blade there. I think that's really cool. Um, 3D machine pocket clip. That's only right hand, so uh, only right hand and only tip up, which is fine for me. But I know it'll kind of bum out some of you guys throw that observation out there it's got a s35 vm blade it's a nice stone wash finish on it so yeah there it is um like i said it's definitely on the smaller side see what i have up here to size compare savivi it's the aquila i think D562 CF. So yeah, a little bit of a smaller, more sleek, kind of like a gentleman's EDC. Um, it's nice. Blade stock's not too thick and it's a full flat ground. So um, just like your general everyday stuff, it'll be pretty good for. Get kind of three and a half finger grip on it. Kind of hangs off. You still get a good grip. It still feels comfortable despite how small it is, which is really nice. And I love the simple design. And we got no blade play. Blade is centered and it flips well. So yeah, this thing is awesome. Um, this will definitely be kind of one of my go-tos as far as just the, you know, kind of throw in the pocket kind of deal uh decent price on it too 159 um 
kind of getting on the upper end, but uh, at least for a knife like of this size, but I still feel like what you're getting, you know, the build quality and everything, 159 is a good price for this. So definitely pleased, um, definitely excited to actually, you know, have one now. So um, yeah, guys, that's the Kaiser Yorkie, the, the blue anode titanium. Um, thank you guys for watching. Keep a lookout for a full review of this guy. I know I got... Uh, kind of a, a little bit of a backlog here of things I'm just going to start pushing out real quick. Um, subscribe to stay up to date to make sure you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. And then also hit the link in my description for my Instagram just for some everyday cool picks and knives and uh, just behind the scenes shots. And uh, yeah, with all that, we'll go ahead and catch you guys on the next one. Thank you so much.